सो इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड स्टडी अबाउट द कार्डिक ग्लाइकोसाइड्स एंड एज वी नो बाय द डेफिनेशन दैट दीज आर द मेडिसन्स विच आर कॉमनली यूज फॉर हार्ट फेलियर एंड इरेगुलर हार्ट बीट हार्ट फेलियर एंड इरेगुलर हार्ट बीट दिस दीज ड्रग्स आर ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द क्लास और द कैटेगरी विच इज यूज टू ट्रीट हार्ट एंड हार्ट रिलेटेड कंडीशन सो बेसिकली हार्ट फेलियर एंड अब नॉर्मल हार्ट बीट्स आर ट्रीटेड बाय कार्डियो कार्डिक ग्लाइकोसाइड्स सो देर आर मैनी नेचुरल ग्लाइकोसाइड्स अवेलेबल विच आर हैविंग कॉमन वी कैन से एक्शन ऑन द मायोकार्डियम लेयर ऑन द मायोकार्डियम लेयर दैट इज दे इनक्रीज द दे इनक्रीज द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन अबिलिटी कॉन्ट्रैक्शन अबिलिटी ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम लेयर दैट इज मायोकार्डियम लेयर इज हैविंग मायोसाइट्स द सेल्स और द फाइबर्स ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम लेयर एंड वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन द नॉटमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी दैट मायोकार्डियम लेयर इज हैविंग दैट इज कोलेट्रल सर्कुलेशन अरेंजमेंट एंड दे आर मेकिंग शीट्स ऑफ फाइबर्स विच आर इंटरकनेक्टेड एंड फॉर द स्पेशल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम सो दीज ड्रग्स इनक्रीज द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी ऑफ द मायोकार्डियम लेयर and please note on the diary or the notebook the main feature of these drugs is that they do not increase oxygen demand they do not increase oxygen demand by the myocardium layer but increases the contraction force so these drugs uh, basically the famous drug digoxin is also known as lenoxin and digoxin comes under the category of digitalis comes under the category of digitalis and one should must must remember for the uh, that is pharmacology exam bsc nursing exam uh, nclex rn exam that digitalis drugs generally include digoxin or lenoxin one uh, lenoxin is the we can say also the same name for the digoxin and these drugs increase the uh, we can say contractility of the myocardium layer without any without any increase in the oxygen demand so basically from where from where what is the source are they man made are they made in factories or are they made from any plants yes cardioglycosides are found in many plants for example for example digoxin is obtained from digitalis please note and observe the pic image of the plant digitalis lenata digitalis lenata Uh, i had already read, uh, written digital is lenata 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 you can pronounce it in uh, in your own way lenata but the main thing is that check the beauty of the plant and it is commonly used to prepare digoxin digoxin is a digitalis drug and increase the contractility of the heart so it has its unique ability to work on the myocardium layer uh, whenever students listen this word digitalis digoxin lenoxin something very heavy something very we can say galaxy like feelings come Di digitalis lenoxin digoxin it is quite simple myocardium layer contraction increases without any uh, we can say extra need for the oxygen 
सो दिस वॉज द जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द डिजिटलिस्ट ड्रग्स लिनॉक्सिन और वी कैन से डाइजॉक्सिन नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑन द हार्ट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ डाइजॉक्सिन और लेनॉक्सिन ऑन द हार्ट सो देर आर थ्री कैटेगरीज अंडर विच इट्स केमिकल इफेक्ट इज डिवाइडेड और कैटेगराइज फर्स्ट वन वेन वी टॉक ऑफ द फर्स्ट इफेक्ट इज आइनोट्रॉपिक इफेक्ट और पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव आइनोट्रॉपी kindly note this word inotropy inotropy inotropic effect inotropic effect so whenever the digoxin or lenoxin has positive inotropic effect it increases the force of force of muscle contraction or the force of myocardium uh, le uh, muscle layer contraction it contracts very forcefully forcefully uh, the focus is on the force so obvious it will increase cardiac output and stroke volume and whenever there is negative inotropic effect for example uh, in case of that is uh, we can say uh, patient is having arrhythmia tachycardia a negative inotropic effect uh, is seen to decrease or uh, we can say uh, uh, create balance in the heart beat negative inotropic effect means decreased force of contraction so inotropic means ions uh, one should remember one can remember this why ions as we know that ions are having positive charge negative charge they are very fast moving electrolytes or elements so the fast moving has a force and it deals with the force when we discuss about the second chemical effect that is chronotropic written in the blue color chronotropic it deals with the rate it deals with the rate of the uh, heart rate rate of uh, heart beat for example we normally study in the uh, anatomy that heart beats 72 times in a minute 72 times in a minute 72 beats per minute and if we increase this rate 80 85 90 so this is called chronotropic effect increase the rate increase the rate here we increase the force of contraction force and here is the rate when the effect is positively chronotropic there is increase in the rate of heart beat and whenever there is decrease in the uh we can say heart beat there is it is called negative chronotropic effect after that comes the dromotropic effect of the uh, digoxin or lenoxin dromotropic under this uh, the digoxin drug increases the atrioventricular contraction atrioventricular contraction so atrioventricular uh, or simply we can say conduction system is optimized or boosted amplified and conduction system works at maximum level therefore obviously increasing the cardiac output or pumping force of the heart so we what did we see we see that these drugs digoxin or lenoxin work um, by three ways inotropically chronotropically and dromotropically so this was the chemical effect of the that is digoxin or the lenoxin now we will discuss about the mechanism of action or pharmacodynamics so when we discuss about mechanism of action of the digoxin or the cardiac glycosides we will first of all study the normal anatomy and physiology in the normal myocardium cell layer cell or myocyte there are present sodium yes please sodium potassium atpases atpases are present on all the nucleic cells of the body 
on the membrane which are continuously pushing out yes please three sodium ions outside and taking inside two potassium ions this is the normal physiology or or we can say action potential which maintains the balance on the same time on the same we can say cell membrane there is presence of sodium and calcium exchanger sodium and calcium exchanger channels which send out when sodium comes in here sodium is present here this sodium and calcium channels exchangers push out sodium and take inside and take inside yes please calcium take inside calcium so there is a collection of calcium inside the myocyte or the cell of the myo, uh, we can say myo, uh, myocardium layer right so uh, this is the normal functioning calcium arrives or comes inside and bind on the actin myosin actin myosin on the troponin uh, we had already a, a video on physiology of muscle contraction so there is cross bridging leading to muscle contraction leading to muscle contraction all right we also know that calcium is also present in the sarcoplasmic reticulum around the t tubules okay so now we will administer digoxin or lenoxin digoxin will block Di please please note digoxin will block sodium potassium atpases sodium potassium atpases are blocked by our digoxin so this channel is blocked so there will be no rushing out no rushing out of our sodium sodium will not go out sodium will not go out it will collect in the cell okay and potassium will decrease potassium will decrease this point is very very important for digoxin administration please keep this thing in mind because we will discuss in uh, nursing considerations that hypokalemia or low potassium level is to be kept in mind while administration of digoxin okay now our sodium is present in large amount so this sodium will be this sodium will be exchanged by this sodium calcium channel sodium calcium channel so more calcium yes more calcium will come inside what did we do we just block sodium potassium atpas atpas okay sodium accumulated exchanged for calcium there is rush of calcium also remember some uh, some of the extra calcium is again stored in uh, that is sarcoplasmic reticulum around t tubules so here also uh, we can say calcium accumulates calcium accumulates this calcium now will bind on actin myosin fibers uh, we can say contractile proteins and will cause will cause forceful contraction extra calcium extra calcium is there so whenever there will be next action potential the cell is already having extra calcium inside it so there will be less requirement of oxygen this is the main 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 feature of digitalis drugs digoxin or lenoxin that without increasing the oxygen consumption these drugs can boost or can cause positive inotropic effect positive inotropic effect so 
दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ डाइजॉक्सिन एंड लेनॉक्सिन बाय ब्लॉकिंग द सोडियम पोटाशियम एटीबीएसेस एंड इंक्रीजेस द इंट्रासेलुलर कैल्शियम इंक्रीजिंग द फोर्सफुल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द मायोसाइट ऑफ द मायोसाइट सो आई होप दैट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ डाइजॉक्सिन एंड अवर लेनॉक्सिन इज वेरी मच क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट कैल्शियम इज ऑल्सो स्टोर्ड हेयर इन द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एक्स्ट्रा कैल्शियम इज स्टोर्ड सो जस्ट बाय ब्लॉकिंग द सोडियम पोटाशियम पंप अवर टारगेट इज अचीव्ड सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्रग एंड द डोज इट सेल्फ सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द Dose of digoxin or lenoxin. So basically, the dose for the digoxin is near about. It is a very, very first of all, you should must know about the pharmacological index. Pharmacological index of the we can say digoxin. This drug is very, very serious. because the safety line is very very we can say vulnerable you just give extra minimum extra dose you can and there are there is appearance of side effect once you cross the limit side effects start to appear this drug is very very sensitive and dose is very very less so for the adults the dose is near about dose is 0.25 mg and the best time to take the medicine is at breakfast with meals kindly note with meals at breakfast for the adults and when we talk about injection form injection this was the tablets injection form it is in the that is uh, in the vial 0.1 mg 0.1 mg per ml so in 1 ml there is 0.1 mg digoxin dose when we talk about lenoxin lenoxin drug its dose is also very less like our uh, 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 like its sister digoxin its dose is 0.25 mg to 0.25 mg i think it's the same uh, and in some cases the dose can go up to 0.5 0.5 mg in some cases the minimum dose is 0.05 mg and the dose is for lenoxin is this and for digoxin is this so kindly note in your notebook about the dose and the, the for the adults so it is a very very having low index pharmacological index and it is a very very serious drug to be taken because there are so many cases of digoxin toxicity or poisoning digoxin poisoning it is also very very harmful during pregnancy so noted down and now our lecture will shift towards indications and contra indications so now we will discuss about the indications of the digoxin obvious 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 yes first one is congestive cardiac failure so as we know that in congestive cardiac failure the left ventricle is not able to pump properly left ventricle is not able to pump properly and the myocardium layer is already facing problem so in order to decrease the workload or we can say increase the contraction ability we use digoxin for the that is uh, our congestive cardiac failure and on the second number comes our cardiac arrhythmias uh, including atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation in this case of atrial fibrillation the upper chambers yes our atria beat to uh, beat very early or too quickly resulting in rapid heart beat the uh, uh, both atria uh, contract rapidly causing rapid heart beat the ventricles are not fill 
वेंट्रिकल्स आर नॉट फुली कंप्लीटली फिल्ड बट देयर इज प्री मेच्योर हार्ट बीट एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन और एट्रियल वी कैन से एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन और देन द कार्डियोजेनिक शॉक वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट इन द केस ऑफ कार्डियोजेनिक शॉक देयर इज डिक्रीज इन द पंपिंग एबिलिटी और कंट्रेक्शन एबिलिटी ऑफ द अवर माओकार्डियम लेयर एस ए नोड ए वी नोड सो इन केस ऑफ कार्डियोजेनिक शॉक देयर इज अ डिक्रीज इन बी पी विच इज ऑल्सो कैन बी अकम्पेन्ड बाय अवर दैट इज पलमनरी अडीमा सो टिल नाउ वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंडिकेशन नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन और राइट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन the first one is acute myocardial infarction in case of acute myocardial infarction as we know that the myocardium layer is not able to pump properly is not able to pump properly myocardial infarction the bp is already falling and we are making the myocardium layer to work against its full capacity which will cause cardiac fatigue cardiac fatigue or cardiac collapse so first contraindication is that is acute myocardial infarction second is our famous that is famous for nursing students to write in the exam that is hypersensitivity so in case of hypersensitivity to the we can say digoxin uh, it should be contraindicated or avoided ventricular fibrillation ventricular fibrillation both the ventricles are uh, uh, we can say contract rapidly and causing uh, premature uh, emptying of the ventricles ventricular fibrillation myocarditis inflammation of the any of the that is uh, layer especially myocardium myocarditis inflammation of myocardium or the layers of the heart endocardium pericardium myocardium myocarditis then hypomagnesia and hypokalemia yes as we had discussed in the in the mechanism of action that the sodium potassium atp ases are blocked and the potassium level inside the cell becomes low becomes low and we know that potassium blood level if there is hypokalemia there is a decrease in the blood potassium level it can lead to yes please cardiac arrhythmia cardiac arrhythmias can be there which can be again a bad news for the cardiac patient hypokalemia hypomagnesemia and in the last wolf parkinson syndrome which include presence of extra extra conduction system this is normal conduction system s a node a v node and there may be extra bundles present known as bundle of yes please bundle of kent or bundle of james yes what a name it seems like a name of the movie james kent so wolf parkinson syndrome white syndrome is contraindicated uh, so digoxin is also uh, uh, to be administered with great caution in case of hypocalcemia don't you think that hypocalcemia if the patient is already having hypocalcemia my dear students how can you increase the blood we can say intracellular cal uh, calcium level heart is not going to contract rapidly renal impairment if there is renal impairment the calcium can be lost through the urine or there can be renal calculi there can be abnormal or we can say abnormal reabsorption of calcium decreased sa node activity in case of pacemaker abnormalities this is to be avoided this drug is to be given with great caution don't you think that uh, one contradiction can be uh, bradycardia bradycardia is also a uh, uh, condition in which digoxin uh, drug is to be administered with great caution av block obvious 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 av block heart block av block heart block of first degree 
second degree and obvious third degree is quite serious matter so this drug is given with great caution constrictive pericarditis constrictive pericarditis heart is not able to expand by itself properly inside the thoracic cavity constrictive pericarditis thyroid disease thyroid disease yes thyroid disease and heart block cardiomyopathies heart block cardiomyopathies thyroid disease are the main contraindications in which this drug is requires great caution so now we will discuss the adverse effects or the side effect of digoxin so after the discussion of the so many aspects related to the digoxin and lenoxin now we are going to discuss about the side effects so one of the main side effect is its av node inhibition av node is inhibited by the negative dromotropic effect negative we had already discussed negative dromo dromotropic effect of the digoxin so av node is blocked av node is blocked here and sa node is firing uh, impulses but av node is not able to conduct or transmit in the impulses towards the myocardium layer so it is one of the major side effect if therapeutic dose is not kept in mind this drug can pro prove as toxic or can show poisonous effect so this drug digoxin also copy or we can say mimic mimic the effect of vagus nerve as we know that vagus nerve is having inhibitory uh, action inhibitory action on the heart sa node so it is going to further decrease the cardiac output which is a major major side effect another use of digoxin digoxin is that uh, it is very unfortunate i believe in this that it is unfortunate is to induce abortion yes it is to induce abortion which is for killing the fetus in which semester in second or third semester obviously you will uh, we can say cause uh, 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 av node blockage or cardiac failure which leads to the poisoning effect and ultimately killing the fetus next side effect is sinus bradycardia the sa node itself is not able to fire sinus bradycardia next include weight gain obviously when the cardiac output is decreased there are chances of peripheral edema and peripheral edema will ultimately accumulate fluid in the lower limbs and can cause pitting edema also obviously it will increase weight of the patient so we uh, till now we had seen so many side effect another one is thrombocytopenia decrease in the yes platelet count anorexia nausea and vomiting headache drowsiness lethargic behavior fatigue are also part of this package of side effects because all these are directly and indirectly related to low cardiac output whenever there is a poor perfusion to the skeletal muscles there are chances of lethargic behavior weakness anorexia drowsiness blurred vision blood vision can be there and in males there can be appearance of breast also known as gynecomastia gynecomastia appearance of breast in the males although they are non functional but uh, it appears which causes cosmetic effect on the psychology of the mindset of the patient so uh, along with the side effects i am also going to discuss about the drug interaction that is rifampicin this drug digoxin is uh, highly contraindicated by along uh, to give with rifampicin loop diuretics 
क्यूनेडेन लूप डाइजोरेटिक्स एंड क्यूनेडेन so it has a very narrow therapeutic index of 0.8 yes please note it down 0.8 to 2 nanogram 2 nanogram per ml this dose therapeutic dose is to be kept in mind while administering digoxin very very th narrow therapeutic index even a small increase in the dose can be fatal can prove disaster for the patient and in the last when we talk about the overdose for example accidentally by mistake if patient is using different methods of measuring the medicine sometimes patient just use the cap of the bottle a while tablets or sometimes use tablespoon sometimes take double dose by mistake so what is what is the antidote what is the antidote for the uh, we can say digoxin toxicity it is dg bind it is dg bind drug dg bind kindly note dg bind so digoxin dg dg bind so till now we had seen side effects of the digoxin or linoxin now we are going to discuss our favorite part and important part that is nursing responsibility so now comes our favorite part of nursing responsibility which include complete history taking of the patient including physical examination and lab reports assessment of chief complaints and any previous medical surgical complaints second monitor the patient for sign and symptom of heart failure if any uh, previous reports are there any surgery of cardiac uh, operation is there then monitor the symptoms of heart failure then administer the loading dose loading dose of digoxin very very carefully and check the apical pulse and check the apical pulse of the patient apical pulse of the patient and next coming next is administer the drug at the same time so that the complications can be assessed frequently on time with quality and character for example if the patient is taking the drug uh, randomly and we are also checking the uh, reports randomly checking the vitals randomly there can be misinformation misinterpretation of the data which can cause obviously complications because it is a matter of cardiovascular system next point include always check the pulse apical pulse and uh, the pulse rate for complete 1 minute don't do the mistake of multiplying uh, after taking 15 seconds and then multiplying by 4 this can be done but should not be done not recommended by nursing masters 1 minute complete pulse should be recorded and there should be provision of pulse oximeter in order to check the oxygen saturation rate because the value indicated by the pulse oximeter also represent uh, the uh, value the of the uh, tissue perfusion right everybody clear about this and after that comes the high pulse rate requires higher dose of digoxin and after that administer orally uh, if possible administer the drug orally if possible because iv obvious intravenous drug administration obvious causes uh, irritation to the patient so uh, by taking the medicine uh, orally patient also becomes self sufficient and can take medicine at home also then one of the most important point which is uh, which should be discussed at first point is the regular and frequent checking of blood potassium hypokalemia to check hypokalemia and hypomagnesia 
hypomagnesia should be avoided there should be frequent ecg liver function test renal function test lft and rft should be uh, there Re lab reports latest with proper information and units in the last patient education so patient education include to educate the patient to take the medicine exactly as prescribed by the doctor and after that the patient should take medicine when he is fully awake fully awake because it will provide real value real exact value of the pulse rate educate the patient to rise from the bed, uh, bed slowly because uh, uh, even the small amount of digoxin can cause fainting chances are there in the old age especially in the we can say deep vein thrombosis there are chances that uh, the patient can fall and cause injury uh, this is uh, very frequent in the old age to prevent orthostatic hypotension the patient should rise from the bed slowly and one of the most important always keep the doctor's number email id whatsapp number whatever the contact number ambulance number first aid care or other aspects related to the hospital settings ready so that the patient can contact medical service care immediately and report any symptoms of drug toxicity drug complication and details of the complication to the doctors so that they can prepare in advance regarding the care of the patient a lot of time lot of inf information can be collected while traveling in the ambulance so this was all about digoxin uh, how what do you feel about this video was it worth of your course do you feel satisfied if you feel that i had worked hard for you this uh, please subscribe share and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you for watching